You have to serve as if you understand God is looking after you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because if you look after your own behind, you're not going to serve correctly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The enemy will always try to deceive you as if I can care less about you than God can care about you. Yes, sir. If you're serving, the Bible says the reward comes from the Lord. Yes, sir. So it doesn't matter if I care less about you, if he's already decided how he's going to treat a servant. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's Luke 12. The widow woman went to a man. She had a king that didn't regard God or man, but she prayed to God. You get that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you will cop out. You will fail the test every time if you're looking to cover yourself. Serve as if you know God can cover you. Yes, sir. You're not some refugee trying to hustle your way into a comfortable immigration. <laughs> You get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, he would have faked it the whole time, not knowing he was the first person I discerned before myself. Oh, oh snap. Before I even knew my body to temperature, the Lord already alerted me to his. Yes, sir. It's not going to bail him out. Absolutely not. He's never going to take a hit. He's going to test you. Yes, sir. How you serving your cold? How do you act when you're uncomfortable, when you're inconvenienced? You can't pass that test. You're not in the kingdom. Amen. You see that? Yes, sir. You have to help him. You, you already picked it up. Well, you're helping me too, though, sir. No, but shut up. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You got it, though. You gotta take every opportunity to become selfless. Your job is to look after it. That's the duty of service. Your job is to look after it. And the only enemy to that will be you looking after yourself. Your job is to look after something else, not you. Yes, sir. Then it forces the law of reciprocity. It forces it. Cause you can't fool God. You gotta, you gotta live like that. Now I'm sharp enough to pick up how he was dealing with you, but he had already planned that. When he was up in the air, he already knew he was going. That's crazy. You get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was so strangely prophetic, though. As I get on the plane, I feel, the, I mean, I get on in, on the sprinter and I feel the breeze. I'm, and it's not like, oh, I'm cold. It's like, oh, Mason's cold. <laughs> then it played out. You had no inside information. And then you played out the failure of the test. Are you okay? Is the temperature okay for you? Hold on, hold on. You're not even that accommodating with my lapel oh, yes. to talk to the world but now all of a sudden you're accommodating to the climate of the, of the van because you were not accommodating to me you were accommodating to you yes, sir. Yes, sir. don't do it the reason you're called to serve something great is because something great has already died to itself to serve something great and if you come in there serving yourself, you're going to mess up the process. And then you're going to blame me for it. He doesn't care about me, so I need to look at it. He doesn't care about my bills. He doesn't care about my life. He doesn't care about my children. He doesn't care about, he doesn't care about, you got to make it happen. You got to look out for yourself. You got to. Yes, sir. I am here because I stopped looking at them myself. 
you come around me, you disrespect that. Yeah, you need to look out for yourself because you're going to have to. You're going to have to. You're going to need some help. Because the only people that get looked at are the people who don't look out for themselves. Yes, sir. In God's kingdom. Only people that get looked after are the people who don't look out for themselves. I can prove it, Matthew 6. Since you're in your mind trying to figure out how that works in the Bible. Consider not this and this. Do the sparrows look after themselves? Do the birds, do the flowers look after themselves? And why are you looking after yourself? Why are you trying so hard to survive? Just let it die. So he can carry you. Yes, sir. That jet we just got off, that's God carrying me. Because I died. I stopped trying to let that old raggedy, ugly, stanky life live. It wasn't good enough to live. I wanted to die. It's not even a good exchange. I feel like a thief. It's like a spiritual thief. Because it's not an exchange. So why are you fighting for something that's not worth anything? When you can lose yourself. Servitude is a process that you go into to lose yourself. It's amazing, isn't it? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. You don't lose yourself, you're not going to find the promise. And it's so scary losing yourself until you realize the thing I'm afraid to lose is the thing that's jacking me up. Me. <laughs> that's the thing that's jacking me up. That's the thing that's delaying me. That's the thing that's holding me back. That's it. me. So lose it. Let it die. All my dreams. Yes, sir. What I want to do, who I want to marry, how I want to look, what my future is supposed to be. All of it. That's how I know the timing of God. I died to my calendar. I don't do anything impulsively. I don't do anything on the merit of I want to do it and it's, it should happen by now. Everything in my life happens when God wants it to happen. Boom. Who's at the door? Boom. Did I get this? Boom. Did this happened. Boom. Did you, did you check on so and so? Boom. Did Dan answer you? Boom. Everything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't disrespect him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't do it. By assuming you can take the reins of your life and do it better than he can. If you can lead your own life better than he could, then you can create the universe, but you can't. So unless you can make a son realize you cannot even order your life. All y'all are servant bandits. And guess what you've stolen? Your own time, your own potential. Because you keep serving God like you're afraid. He's going to lead you into some negative. That's worse than what you are with a jack in your life up to be. The goodness of God. Leads to repentance. You better find out he's good. When you start trusting him, God got me, God is good. He's not gonna let me down. He's not gonna let me fail. He's not gonna leave me alone. He's not gonna lead me into danger. He's not gonna, when you find out he's good and all that wickedness in your heart, then you'll be led to repentance. Yes, sir. You'll get all that evil out of you. Because you trust him. When you don't trust him, ooh. He'll do anything. He'll kill your brother. Cain killed his brother. Now, I always talk about Cain. But y'all ain't never heard this one. He didn't just kill his brother. He ran away from home without a note. He didn't even tell his parents, I'm gone. He murdered his brother, had a meeting with God, and they never saw him again. If Cain can do that wicked, why can't you do that disciple? Well, my mama don't like it. Okay. You worse than a murderer. <laughs> but my friends don't like it. Well, you, you're worse than a murderer. You can't be a disciple? You're worse than a murderer. 
murderer from the beginning. <laughs> you see that? Yes, sir. Can't be trusted. You'll throw anyone under the bus to get ahead. It's like your butt is melting. <laughs> like mush. <laughs> you know, you feel like you don't have a, uh, a tailbone. <laughs> like his pants and then poo. <laughs> like he pooped on himself. Pants, poo, and colon. <laughs> When he start walking, his butt gonna be jiggling. <laughs> no glute muscles. <laughs> it's loose. It be all hanging. <laughs> is help? Is help you in it? Yes, sir. Live dear, shot diva. Live to him. The life I live is not is not my own. To live is Christ, and to die is gain. There is the law of acquisition. I never said that before. To die is gain. You want financial freedom? You want an economy? You want to get ahead in life? You want to climb the ladder? Die to yourself. Because in the kingdom, that's the only way you're going to gain. You want to gain, you want to accumulate, you want to acquire, you want to possess, you want to own, die. Mm. There's nothing in your heart. Yes, sir. It's only scary to your flesh. But it is good to your soul. Oh, the freedoms of death. You see, they were, they were a lifetime in bondage, Hebrews. For fear of death. Fear of loss. Was death the ultimate loss? And it kept them in bondage their whole lifetime. But when you don't fear death and loss and sacrifice anymore, it's freedom to your soul. It rids that bondage. Nothing can chain your soul anymore. And they overcome him. They overcame him by the word of testimony, by the blood of the land, and not living their lives to death. You see that? You see that? Yes, sir. Not yes, loving their lives till death. Now when you say till death, that's when you bring in a comparison. Yes, sir. Now, two differences are being measured. The love of your life, the process of death. They can coexist. So who says sacrifice should be loathsome? Who said it should be discouraging and depressing? I love my life. I just don't love it to death. That's so powerful, isn't it? Let's say hate your life. Let's say I love it. Just don't fear losing it. But while you have it, enjoy what you have yes, to its fullest. And when you understand that, you stop treating God like you've had too many conversations with a snake at a tree. Wow. Amen. Yes, that was a good title right there. Yes, the snake at the tree. <laughs> Isn't that heavy? That's heavy. Now, be adjusted in servitude and love your life at the same time. Like right now, love the predicament you're in. You've been adjusted in that to the point where, because you still fear death, you're unappreciative of the moment. Crazy, is it? It is. It's is. It is. It's powerful. This is the secret. This is what took me from a 1200 square foot home to that jet we just got off of. And every accomplishment in my life. You learn this, you learn everything. 
Let's see how hard it is to let go of it. This is what Paul said, that I may know him in the fellowship of his sufferings. It can feel that hard, but you just take that to him in fellowship. But I love you, Jesus. But you died for me. But I thank you for the blood. That's how I overcame this kind of stuff. Who wants to keep you tied to this life? That's all eternity is. It's the absence of death. You get that now in your servitude, you'll taste a little bit of heaven while you're living in earth like it is in heaven. That's where it's at. That's where it's at.